right, everybody. So, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I might have invented a new kind of sterling motor, and here it is. Let's go and give it a go and see how that works. I can't tell you much about it because, um, well, I've just invented it today, so I don't know what kind of efficiency it has. I don't even know if it's new, but there's a, a ton of people out there who know far better than I do on Sterling Motors, and I'm hoping some of them pick it up. I mean, particularly Blair Dottila. I mean, that guy is a genius when it comes to Sterling Motors, so I'm hoping he picks it up and says, hey, Rob, you're, uh, you're dreaming it's uh, invented in 1908 by such and such, or, uh, wow, that's an interesting way of doing it. So, uh, Hopefully, somebody will have a look, but I think I've invented a new sterling, and we'll take it apart so you can see how it's made. Now, on the top, we've got a lump of metal which acts as a wedge, so effectively, that's like a flywheel. And then there's a magnet on there just holding the whole thing together, so it just holds it on the rubber band. And that is just a, a button of rubber, and what we've got here is a balloon. So if I take this off, then inside what you'll see is the other side of the balloon that I stuffed a screw in. So that screw, oops, there we go. That bolt sits on the underside of the balloon and the end of the bolt is a very, very tiny magnet because in here is a displacer. That magnet hits the displacer, picks it up. As the balloon expands, it lets go and the displacer drops down. So all it is is that bouncing up and down, which is kind of cool. And in here is the displacer, and you might see a retaining ring. Let me get that ring out for you. Okay, that's it. It's a bit of MDF. In there, we have our displacer, which is wire wool wound around, a couple of tin plates side to side, and sewed together with a bit of copper wire, so it's free to bounce up and down. This obviously stops it, and it's put at about five millimeters. So what happens is, the magnet grabs hold of the tin plate, and as the balloon expands, it comes up until, of course, the balloon pulls it away when the displacer drops back down. That means, of course, that the air is now pushed into the cold side, and the balloon goes back down, and as the balloon goes back down, it grabs the displacer, and it continues with that. And that's how the engine works, which is stunningly simple. I mean, no linkages, no engineering, made out of a bit bean can and a bit of wire wool. And these magnets, they're tiny. You don't want it so that it holds that too much. You just want it so that it can pick up the displacer. And when it comes to the retaining ring, it doesn't have enough force to hold it. It's quite gentle, actually, to pull that off. So the displacer will fall back down by gravity. Anyway, that is my brand new engine. I sincerely hope it is brand new. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.